this this cool porno music come through at all? Sure, why not? I dig it. Pretty good. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Hat Racket World Tennis Channel. Uh, this is Leo. Uh, I got my buddy uh, Doug Miles here from Doug Miles Media. How are you doing today, Doug? Good, uh, Leo. Looking forward to doing this for a while, and we'll have some fun uh, kind of uh, reminiscing and uh, analyzing our matches. Right. So today we have uh, a match three. Me and Doug played in um, Ultimate Tennis uh, Doubles 4.0 division. And um, let's see here. The, I labeled this video's priority out on my channel, and it's called Just Frustrating. And you'll see why. <laughs> um, we let me flip over so we'll start in the first set at four zero we were leading pretty good in both of these sets and then we'll kind of talk through and see what happens here <laughs> yeah, we had uh, our first three or four matches we got off to very good leads mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah you'll see what happens here but uh, we jumped out to a quick four nothing lead in this match <laughs> And again, here here we go. Uh, on to the rally, we won't rewind. <laughs> so we're at 4 0 at this point. Uh, Raymond, who's in the orange hat, if you can see that, is serving. Uh, he's a lefty, and he had a pretty good, uh, pretty good strokes. Um, and then his teammate, Steven, in the white hat, didn't seem to hit him with a lot of pace. Um, but he moved, moved okay out there. Yeah, he had uh, a, kind of a, a placement kind of serve, not a lot of power on. Here's a here's a thing that you use for one of your shorts. Right. Uh, my, my little McEnroy moment for me there. Yeah. <laughs> and then but yeah, he had uh, kind of. You'll see it in a little bit. But yeah, uh, Raymond. Uh, I think he told us at the end of the match he's kind of a new tennis player, so he's kind of learning, and the serve was pretty good for a, a new player. Yeah, he was doing pretty good out there. Um, Yeah, they broke the four nothing uh, Schneid there, so they got on the board on that game. As you can see here, Steve he's... right here in the white hat, and uh, like you see, he's a, he's a quick player. And uh, surprisingly, again, uh, we at the end of the match, we we're kind of talking about uh, just somehow age came up, and he told us he was much older than you and I both thought, right? Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, what was he? Uh, closer to seventy. He was over seventy. He told over us. seventy, yeah, right. Not that 70's old, but it, but he didn't look like he was a 70-year-old. And he moved better than 70. Yeah. No. <laughs> 70 is the new 50. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. I mean, he didn't yeah. look much more older than 50 to me. Yeah. <laughs> so this was one of the – it was earlier this year, and I want to say it was one of the first warmer days here. When we, played. Yeah, we played earlier in the day. Our previous matches, uh, first two, were played uh, early evening. And mm -hmm. actually, I think the first one was on a cooler night. But this was yeah. the first uh, kind of a hot afternoon. We played earlier around 4 o'clock on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, almost regretted playing that part of the day. <laughs> yeah, I think we had to because of scheduling. You know, we had to get it in. And we yep. played. That was the time we played. But, yeah, it was uh, the first hot day here down in you know, Sarasota that, that mm -hmm. we played on. It was tough. Mm-hmm. As you can see here, you know, Steve's serve isn't really got a lot of pace at all, which, you know, you see someone on the other side of the court like that, you kind of take for granted. Uh, I think we both, since we are up so early, and now that we're at 4-3 leveling out, but we were up 4-0, and, you know, you kind of think, oh, we're going to steamboat, steamboat, steamroll these guys. And, but that just didn't quite happen that way <laughs> no that uh, slow kind of uh, moon ballish lobbing type of game which uh, he had and it's very difficult for players like you and me leo who we like to hit it hard but when yeah. there's a slow ball coming at you that kind of can uh, make you ruin your timing a little bit you got to really adjust yeah it's hard when you have to generate your own pace and i nope. think this is where more of the moon balls came um they just were popping those balls up yeah, steve was like just saw right there, just hitting that corner uh, where I was right there. Must have been about 10 or 15 times in the match that he hit that area with the lobs. 
now are four all. I think we won four in a row after we took the first four. And you and I are saying, uh, what happened? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We should have won that first set, now maybe 6-1, six, 6-2. Six, right. At worst. I'm uh, questioning myself there. Why didn't I do better? <laughs> now we're down four five. <laughs> and you see, that's one of his lobs right there, Steve. Again, another one. Same thing. He's just sticking. Lob or moon balling it. Yep. And this one, we, we, we they both converged to the front and somehow got it past you <laughs> and yep. volley. Yeah, he's a backboard, as you can see. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. no matter what we did, he just got it back. And then again, you and I were kind of, after a while, just trying to place the ball rather than hit it hard. Right. Well, you get frustrated. You're up 4-0, and then all of a sudden now you're down 4-5. And things you're relying on aren't quite working the way you want them to. They're playing unorthodox. Yep. Whether... <laughs> Yeah, a couple of shots I think you had, you know, your, your good cross quarters, they, they still were able to get to the ball. I mean, they, they, uh, they made us hit one more shot, and a lot of times they won the point on those shots. Yeah. So this is the, extra game. This is the extra game we needed before. <laughs> High five. <laughs> At least we continued it for a while because we we lost six in a row. That would have been brutal. <laughs> yeah, to lose it six four after being up four zero would have been real tough pill to swallow. And again, looking at it even now, I say, why couldn't we just pound those serves away? But we didn't. Right. <laughs> or I didn't anyway. It was kind of coming in so soft. Well, they didn't really give you an easy shot when you're at the net. Even though they're not hitting well, the ball. I'm talking about the serve. I mean, that's just oh, a slow ball serve, coming yeah. in. And, yeah, you actually uh, got to I hit it as hard as I wanted to. And the times I swung at it, either hit it long or hit it in the net. Right. And then you start saying, well, okay, I just got to get it back now. And then that's falling into the trap. Now we're up 6 5. We had a chance here. Now we should have won the set right here, but you'll see I didn't particularly serve well here. And error there, easy volley right into the net. And that's double, I think you had. Yeah. Always good at double fault when you're up. <laughs> <laughs> I probably could have taken a swipe at some of those lobs, those high balls. I just kind of let them go back to you and uh, kind of pin, they pinned you back there. Did a good job of, look how you keep pinning me back and I'm mm -hmm. just trying to fight for my life there. A couple <laughs> lobs that I hit back, but. Again, I, <laughs> you're stuck with that. And that was a tough one to get back. Now we're at a tie break. <laughs> Six to all, and they play the seven point, seven, win seven by two. And we're up in the tie break. Again, the lob. Well, that's way back. Yeah. And we got I, that point. What, yeah, and then here again. A couple of calls right here, right? Questionable, the replay that there questionable are, calls. Questionable. <laughs> but real close calls. And I think it annoyed me and I hit the double. We're trying to get a mini break again here. We got the first point on a mini break. Now we're trying to. I think to... this one is an. He yelled out, and I was. Yeah, that was close. Uh, Looking at it again on the replay here. Here we go. Another close call. That's a close one, but he called uh, it out. <laughs> hard, to, hard to call that one out. We should have asked for the mark, but eh, it is what it is. Yeah. Now we're down. Pop up. Yeah, I hit it right to him. <laughs> and he paid him back right there and that servant in the body. <laughs> That was, that was pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that was a tough shot back. 
Cal down three five. I was able to finally get the extra the, the volley. Pokes there. Yep. Yeah. And that was that was a dumb shot. I <laughs> should have tried to wait for a better shot. But... Oh, we got double set point <laughs> against us here. All right, so now we're down yeah, six good. seven first set. So let's yeah. fast forward a little bit to. Um, that's the first frustration. Yeah, the first frustration. <laughs> so we'll go all the way to, we're in this, I'm going to pass forward into the second set. And at this point, we're up 5-0. With a, uh, and you look at that and say, hey, we're going to play a third set, or at least a third set, uh, the tiebreaker. Right. Yeah, I felt like we were in a good spot. I mean, 5-0. Just got to get one more game. That's all we got to do. And right there, and I thought we were we were in a good you know good groove, had a good volley there. The drop that they couldn't get back. A little bit of a cross cat cross court battle with Steve here, and another close call. Another close one. Yep. <laughs> water went on on a court next to us not, not, not the water that was a problem but it was that uh, reclaimed water so it didn't smell that great <laughs> out there i welcome the cool down but uh you're right it was not the best smelling water and you got a pot fly right over you landed in this is where they really uh particularly steve uh, went to town with uh, just placing those high balls behind us or over us See, he just gets everything back. Nothing on it. No. <laughs> and then I missed an easy shot. Emotional, <laughs> damn it. Another tough shot by now. We're down at 5 1. 5 1. So, okay, well, you know, they were serving. We can get one. Mm hmm. There we go with the pop fly over your head. I couldn't get that back for some reason. And I got Bali uh, just. I got a little gun shy too on some of those. All right, let, let it go back in the, the backcourt rather than me try and swat at it. And uh, that didn't help either. When you play the moon ball, you really have to be aggressive and not sit back. And uh, that, I think we, we played a little bit too far back. I was a little too far forward, and you were stuck in the back. Yeah. And now we're at 5 2 because I made a dumb half volley attempt. And here's where Raymond served a little bit better in the second set, yeah. a little more consistent. Brian was able to get a little aggressive at the net. Good point there, yep. Good net point. And then I love the return. So we had some points that were longer points that we fought and won, and then the next point they would get an easy one. Which yeah. was frustrating. That's another frustration. Right. <laughs> or we'd give it right back to them. Yeah, you got that one right by you. Uh... Yeah. Here, we get a racket on that. We both went for it. Well, <laughs> Probably yeah, caused yeah. each other to do the error. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got to hold my serve here. <laughs> but look again, pin me back. Yeah, you were a little. Well, uh, I was slow. I was too yeah. slow getting ready for that ball. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this was a key game right here. You should have won it right here. Mm -hmm. Set. Again, lob or switch. And 
That was a frustration over it. Yeah. I finally had one. I almost that hit one. Steve right by the feet. <laughs> well, look how deep every ball Steve hits. Mm -hmm. so, like within a foot of the baseline mm -hmm. or less. Another one. Another one deep. We're trying to get up to the net. And see, I wasn't too happy there. <laughs> <laughs> Leo keeps his anger more inside. I, I don't. <laughs> so it breaks it up myself. I mean, you can hear it <laughs> out there. That's fine. That was a good poach. Yeah. But they made a good recovery and hit it deep again. And again, pin you back. Yeah, and then he came in. And he just was, yeah. This game went to a couple of deuces, it looks like. Again, pop fly. Wide. I mean, wide in the court, still in. Mm -hmm. And then another one I just kind of threw up there and then. Yeah, we were playing way too defensive-minded tennis against these two. All right, we had a chance well, You really here. have to play offensive tennis against that type of style. All right. <laughs> yeah, this had to be at least a three or four deuce game. I think this was, I hate to say, it might have been one of the turning points, right? Because it's one well, of the game. We're up 5-3. We should have won the set. Mm -hmm. If not, they get back in it. Five four, and there it is. Five there four. It is. And who's serving? Steve. Steve's serving. <laughs> so we were thinking, oh, we'll take this break. Right. Steve off on all his serves, and we and we weren't able to do it. And that's a slow ball coming across. We should be able to attack it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we just we just couldn't do it. And Raymond got aggressive there. Yeah, Raymond, yeah Raymond finally found his groove at the net. Yeah, good poach again. Five all. And now we're saying, all right, we're still on serve here. Another questionable call. And again, that was really <laughs> close. <laughs> yeah, very, very close. Hard to call that out. Oh, you, you almost got it. <laughs> Sacrifice for the point. <laughs> they were so quick to call balls out, but yeah, there were there were some at the end that uh, very quickly right quick calls. But that's part of you know this league tennis. I mean, you call your own line, so yeah. you got to take whatever you get. Now we're down oh, five six. That was a tough one. Bad you bad right there, right at the net. <laughs> well, let's see if we can get to another tiebreaker. What do you think? Maybe we we'll get there. That's we're a good we're form. down. Good form right there, huh? We're down five six. <laughs> I got now. it back, but man, that's bad. <laughs> now we get a little grab, charge the net. Didn't do that enough. I feel no, like we didn't, didn't charge there's so many things we didn't right do enough of there. We just kind of fell into a groove and kind of played their game. Yeah, you almost get hypnotized in the sense that you don't think about, all right, now we got to be more aggressive. And you, like that, do I didn't do that. How come without doing it? And yeah, you're right. I didn't move enough. I was stuck waiting for the... There's another one I uh, wasn't happy about. <laughs> Now, right back at you. Yeah, right back at me. And look, we're at another tie break. <laughs> Can we get up early in this one? Let's see. Pushed it wide on the court. I shot. I think that might have been out. Yes, it was down. We got one. We got the first one. No, no, we didn't. That was out. That overhead was out. So we're down. Down 0 1. 
Now we've tied it up. Okay, we tied it up there. Yeah. Now. Well, and you guys we had to win this to get to. They wouldn't play a third. We wouldn't play a third full set. We play the ten point tiebreaker. So uh, mm -hmm. we knew if we could get to that, we had a good chance. But had to get past the tiebreak. No. Okay, we're up now, two one. Well, later in the season, we did well in a tiebreaker. We'll we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> when it counted, and when it counted, we did well. <laughs> well, it. we won't say any more than that right now, but uh, we learned. All right, and Steve just couldn't get that top spin lob back. Okay, three one. We're up three one here yeah. with the serve, and there's a double. <laughs> And that was kind of the uh, little microcosm of that uh, whole day right there. Right. For both of us. I mean, we, we would think we had a chance, and then we'd make a, make a mistake. Yeah, 4-2, we were feeling pretty good. I mean, then again, we were up by zero, so we yeah. were feeling really good up until <laughs> we weren't. And give them credit. I mean, they were down big in both sets and not – they could have given up or started hitting it long, and they didn't. They stuck with whatever their game plan was coming in, which had to be this style. Yeah. They don't really have another style, so they just stuck with it. Give them credit. All right, now we're at fours. Yeah. Going to win seven by two here, so. And there's that lob again. Mm -hmm. All right, we're up four five. With a second serve. And then just easy put away. Yeah, didn't do enough with that. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we're down there. That was right. it. Yeah, that, we're was, down. that was it. We had lost that was it, it in two tie breaks. That was, that was really tough. And not only were we up four love and five love. Yeah. We got to two tie breaks. You figure, all right, well, you know, you'd win one of them. But uh, they just, like you saw right here, just kept pushing us deep and uh, didn't make many mistakes on their own. Yeah, yeah, six, seven, six, seven loss. Well, that was make the mistakes, really. That was a that I mean that was a tough loss. I maybe it was a heat. That was our first loss. We had won our first two matches, which mm -hmm. uh, I believe are up on uh, on your channel, right, Leo? Those yeah, yeah, yeah. First two up. Yeah, I think and we yeah. won those relatively handily. Mm -hmm. Not I would say easily, but you know, we won them pretty handily. Yeah, match one. We came into this one and we saw in practice mm -hmm. the, the style they played. The first two matches we played teams that hit it with a little pace on it. This is the first team we saw that didn't have anything on it. Mm -hmm. So looking back on our on our match there, what would you do now that you've seen yourself? And <laughs> anyway, it's been some time. I mean, this match was like what, April? May around there? I think it was uh, late April, wasn't it? Late April. So early, early May, early May, I think. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. So obviously it's a lot hotter out there now. <laughs> it's a lot more humid out there now. We've been playing, you know, we play once a week, practice. What would you do differently if we were to play these guys like today? Yeah, if we knew ahead of time, <laughs> other than just, you know, we practice with the team for 10 minutes, you get a little bit of an idea, but you don't really know them because we've mm -hmm. never seen them before. Uh, going in again, we thought we played them again in the, in the, later on in the year. I'll just say that, and we right. didn't. But uh, we were talking about it if we had played them again. But obviously, mm -hmm. uh, just be aggressive from the beginning, and uh, even if we miss a few early ones, keep at it. Because that type of, you know, exasperating player type, we've seen that on our friend uh, Ian's channel, the Central mm -hmm. Tennis. You just got to be aggressive and make them hit it hard at them and make them move. Uh, that that would have to be our strategy and stick with it. Yeah, because we, we have to serve better. I didn't serve well. I don't think you felt you served as well as you no, could. We, we didn't serve. We didn't get a lot of good first serves in either. Which uh, no, we we kind of we kind of let them get away with this. They dictated the points. I mean, yeah. you know, they they hit the lobs. They dictated every point pretty much. We were playing defensive the whole way, and even even doing that, you know, we took them to, you know, it took they had to go to two tiebreakers to beat us, mm -hmm. but we gave them a lot of points. Yeah, they didn't hit many winners. Yeah, and my big takeaway, I feel like, is I had spent too much time too close to the net when I was playing up, and I didn't really give any room 
probably should have moved back to like the maybe back toward the middle a little bit more. Yeah, maybe sure. the middle just just because they were always popping them up over my head, and I was yeah. kind of useless up there. Um, I think later in the in the in the match, I tried to do that and move around and got a few easy points, but but it wouldn't give us either of us anything to hit at the net. I mean, I don't think I had any real good poaches at all. You had a couple. I had a few, but it's only because I they made were it so happen. Good particularly Steve, of uh, keeping it away from the net. And I just saw how many balls did he hit within six inches to a foot of the baseline, particularly in the corners. Right. That happened a lot. And it's very hard to hit a good shot when you're retreating in the corner. Yeah, like that. Especially if you're trying to get it back in play. Like that. Oh, of course. Uh, where is this one? Yeah. This one, if you think about it, well, we're not used to this type of play. Like He hits this, sir. obviously got nothing on it. Just some spin. Yeah, that's just really a, a push into the net. You hit it pretty push. short, right, in the baseline. And then he decides to pop it up. Right. <laughs> and deep. And and then we just, you know, you're forced to, okay, yeah, yeah, there it is. Or that's not the same shot. Or is it? Maybe it was the next one. Oh, no, I went too far. Anyways, this is the point. I'm glad we didn't play them again. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we we sort of wanted to, in a sense, yeah, we knew we could beat them. Yeah, here you hit it. You hit it shallow. Your force, no, 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 you hit it right into the net. Because every other team we played the rest of the season, and I won't give anything away, but every other mm -hmm. team hit it with pace. This was the only team that did this. Yeah, it was. Yeah, this is the point I was thinking. He hits this weird, like short. Yeah. Loopy shot. Raymond hits this drop shot that I was not expecting. And then, you know, they got now, Raymond was very good at that little uh, kind of short volleys. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was a that was a frustrating. I think my loss. serve was like we said, our serves were not what they usually are. I know you and I play on Thursday nights with uh, you know our friends uh, mm -hmm. Ryan and Mark. And we had we play a hard hitting game for the most part there and. Even on the serves, and we slowed everything down. And they slowed, you know, we fell into the trap. Mm -hmm. It happens all the time when you play that type of style against you. It's easy to fall into that trap. So we did there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, next time, just be more aggressive. Uh, be aware. Be the lesson learned. Yeah. Be, uh, you know, not wild. I mean, not wild shots, but more aggressive and, and rush the net. We should have rushed the net, even if they lobbed over us. Just rush it, give me something to think about. Mm hmm. All right. Which we didn't do. We could have, you know, throw a little intimidation at him, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doug, any of the final thoughts on our match? Yeah, I was just saying, yeah, that was uh, our, our first learning experience, I think, other than obviously the first couple of matches were kind of, you and I were just, you know, learning the league a little bit. But uh, mm -hmm. this was a great learning experience. I think this match definitely helped us as we went along. Right. And the rest of the season. <laughs> uh, just, it put in our minds what we'd have to watch out for. We didn't have to do, as, like we said, we didn't play any teams quite like that the rest of the way, but no. we knew we might meet them again later in the playoffs or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, we didn't have to, but uh, but for future reference, that's what you got to do. You got to be more aggressive against that type All of right. style. All right. Well, um, definitely lesson learned. Um, something to look at for going forward when you get these weird unorthodox players on the other side of the net. And, uh, yeah, that place, uh, like you said, being aggressive and um, not falling into your opponent's uh, play style. So uh, making it difficult for them, not the other way around. Right. All right. Cool. They, they had very few unforced errors. That's true. That's true. That was mostly well, We had a lot. So yeah. that, that, was, that was different. Uh, <laughs> in other words, like I said before, they didn't hit many winners. You know, a couple of put aways with the net, but they didn't have no winners from the baseline, obviously. Not really. And no if any, they really couldn't handle if you gave them a lot of spin back. Right. Uh, deep. Felt like they. Which we should have done more of that, too. Put a little more cut on the ball, maybe some slices. Yeah. We, did, we didn't. We were just kind of tapping it back at time. At least I was. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to find the balance and not overhitting it at the same time. Yeah. Trying to find a difficult shot that was a little tough to find. But. So not a fun Sunday afternoon for Leo and I that day. <laughs> but I guess they say you learn more from losing than winning. So wow. we'll, we'll go with that. 
Less right, than we want to give any advice to people watching that are 4-0, 4-5, 3-5 players. That's what you learn right there. You learn the hard way sometimes. You learn the hard way. <laughs> and you remember. Remember how it feels so you don't do it again. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, I think we can put a wrap on this episode of uh, Rally Rewind. I'll get that, the tongue here sooner. I like the title. Yeah, Yeah, I like the title. All right. (laughs) Well, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, Stay tuned uh, for the next episode. Thanks, Leo.